Good morning and welcome to our service of worship this morning. This is a special Sunday when the youth of the church lead the our worship service. I hope that you feel God's love and inspiration as we worship together. As you will see in your bulletin this morning, the beautiful flowers on the stand are given in the, to the glory of God and, and in memory of Bailey Beacon Church. By Bailey and Bailey Beacon. Let us begin this worship now by standing and seeing our opening hymn. How Firm a Foundation, number 618 in our human. Let us bow for our opening prayer. Dear God, we ask that you bless us with the sense of your presence as we, as we worship together today. Help us to be at peace and to worship you with all of our minds, all of our hearts, and all of our spirits. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord, the one who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Christ, the Son of God, 
And do you accept him as your Lord and Savior? Colby, God bless you with that confession of faith that you've made here today. I baptize you now, Colton Lane Moyne, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Colton, may the Holy Spirit be at work in you to do far more than you dare ask or imagine, keeping you in the knowledge of Christ's love too wonderful to be mentioned. God bless you. Jolie, I extend to you now to hand the fellowship and ask you, do you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and do you accept him as your Lord and Savior? God bless you, Jolie, for that confession of faith. <coughs> Jolie, Jolie, I baptize you now. Jolie Addison Pratt, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jolie, may the Holy Spirit be at work in your life to do far more than you dare ask or imagine, keeping you in the knowledge of Christ's love too wonderful to be measured. God bless you. Carson, I extend to you the hand of fellowship, and I ask you, Carson, do you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and do you accept him as your Lord and Savior? God bless you for that confession of faith. I baptize you now, Carson Joseph Prayer, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Carson, may the Holy Spirit be at work in your life to do far more than you dare ask or imagine, keeping you in the knowledge of Christ's love too wonderfully to be mentioned. God bless you.
Thank you for the memories of the past and the excitement of the future. Thank you for all the people that have given us so much during our lives. Thank you, God, for being with us through all our changing years, and thank you for forgiving us when we've lost our way. Though we are thankful for all that we have been given in the past and all that waits for us in the future, help us also to experience and appreciate today to the fullest and help us to have the strength to overcome any challenges that may come our way. On this day, help us to be a blessing to others through our words and our actions. For this is the day you have made, so help us rejoice and be glad in it. We pray in the name of our Christ, our Lord. Amen. Scripture readings today. The first one is from Philippians chapter 4, verses 12 through 13, and James chapter 1, verse 12. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I learned the secret of being content in any and every situation whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. And from James, Blessed is the one who preserves under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Good morning. For those of you who don't know me, which I've been going to this church for a long time, so I figured everybody would know me by now. Uh, my name is Trey. Uh, I'm the son of Tammy and the grandson of Renee and Barry Eakin. Um, so I'm, I'll read the, the scripture reading one more time, just so it says, I know both how to have a little, and I know how to have a lot. In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being content. Whether well-fed or hungry, whether in abundance or in need, I'm able to do all things through him who strengthens me. So, it's from Philippians 4, verse 2, verse 13. In my life, uh, there's been many struggles. There's been many different things that I've had to overcome. Uh, my freshman year of high school, uh, my dad died uh, just a little bit after my birthday in January. Um, and it was something hard to come over. But with God and my family and my friends and the constant support and love, I was able to overcome it. In my sophomore year of high school, uh, it's my first year of varsity uh, for wrestling, and it was kind of it was kind of crazy. Um, you know, always being told that you're not going to be the best, you're not going to be good enough, you're not going to win, you're not going to get far. And just uh, that year, uh, I worked hard. I had the right mind. I was determined. And, you know, I prayed to God every single night that I that he blessed me with a with a title. And that year I did. And you know, coming into my senior year, the same thing. Uh following the year uh my junior year at state, uh I was knocked out at in the semis. And then for my third place match, uh I took a very bad photo and I had to go to the hospital. Um, this whole season I've been battling injuries and constant struggles, uh, trying to keep my grades up, trying to, you know, add English and all these different papers that I'm having to write. And it's something hard, it's something that, you know, being a student athlete, the student comes first. And so I, you know, I focused and I got all my papers done and applied. Uh, this year uh, I've, I've had any problems for a while. And uh, uh, whenever I went to the doctor over the summer, they said I had a single band ACL tear. So, and then um, I had to do a bunch of PT, try to get it right, try to try to keep it strong. And you know, I just prayed to God every night. I would say, Lord, please, please heal, heal me, heal me, give me strong, give me back my strength, give me back the, the mindset, so I know that I can do this. You know, and. Adversity is always there in life. No matter where you go, no matter how old you get, no matter, you know, adversity is something that you will always have to find a way to overcome. Adversity is hard to overcome for some people. But, uh, you know, I've had, I've had a good group of friends, and my family is so, so strong together. And you know, just coming over the different, the different struggles in life with those people is amazing. There's no better feeling. Um, you know, this year, uh, going into high school, like my senior year, I was kind of, I 
was kind of nervous, I was kind of shaky. Didn't know what I was going to do, didn't know what college, if I wanted to go to college. I signed to the Marine Corps at the beginning, in the beginning of the summer. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Well, this year, at the end of the season, I was actually offered a full ride scholarship to go wrestle in Kansas. And so I, I, so I, I taken <laughs> something very hard to do in sport and wrestling, especially, especially coming from down south. You're not really, you're not a prospect, you know, you're, coming, you're competing to get a, get a spot just against people from up north who, they've been doing it since they were like, they able to walk, you know. Uh, I've been wrestling since I was in second grade, and uh, I took a two, three years off, and, you know, just coming, being able to get this scholarship was something amazing. It's a school in Colby, Kansas. I'm going to Colby Community College. It's a junior college. And so I'll be there for two years, taking my basic classes. And then um, hopefully, hopefully, you know, it's it's something that I'll have to pray about. But hopefully I can get picked up somewhere else, to another college, to a university, to, you know, somewhere where I can go off and study. Uh, finding something to study is also very, very hard. What do you want to major in? Uh, I've had many options. There's either criminal justice, uh, anesthesiologist, uh, you know, different things, uh, petroleum engineering. There's so many options out there, and it's just finding the right, the right thing for me, finding what, what would go for me. And, you know, I was talking to my coaches, I've been talking to the coach in Kansas. You know, we're all, he's all aboard, and he's going to help me get through all these things that I have to get through. And, uh, you know, and, and life and what's forward is something it's something that I've never pictured uh, growing up I've never saw myself going to college I've never saw myself succeeding I've always you know saw myself at the lowest I've never never seen myself at the highest and being able to come up here is something amazing this is something I've looked forward to doing my entire life ever since I was a little kid me and Hannah would be like when are we going to be able to do that right so and here it is, it's actually something very nerve-wracking. <laughs> Seeing all these people, you're just like, oh. But, you know, it's, it's, it's something, you know, but I'm kind of rambling right now, and I'm sorry. But with, with the Bible first, I'm going to get on the Bible first. Um, you know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That, that, that part, that whole part hits me. And the reason being is because with God, through God, no matter where you are, no matter how far gone you are, no matter what, any circumstance, God is with you. And with God, you can get through those struggles. And God has helped me get through many struggles, as well as he's helped everybody get through these struggles. These struggles, struggles in life are something serious, but with God, you can get through that. And from the first, first 12, I know what it's like to have a little. I don't come from a rich family. I don't come from a family that I, don't, I haven't gotten everything that I've wanted in life. But my family has provided me with so many things. And I'm so grateful for that. I've always known what it's like to have a little. But it's the little things that I get and the little memories in your life that you will cherish forever. It's not the big things. It's, it's, not, it's not something spectacular. It's the little things that hit you the most. It's the little things in life. My dad and I, we would always, we'd always have these little inside jokes. And my dad, the one thing that I remember him telling me was, sorry. The one thing I remember him telling me was, and this is, this is why I say that the little things matter. He said, Trey, there will be big things, and there will be small things, but with God you will get through it, and you will always, always remember the little things. Thank you.
James 1.12, and it said, Blessed is the one who preserves under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Um, being able to stand up here and preach is such an amazing thing, especially doing it next to my buddy Trey, who I've grown up with learning about God, and it's just such an amazing thing. Um, I've helped Trey through difficult times. <laughs> Like, whenever he lost his dad. And being able to help a friend out like that is such an amazing thing. Because he knew that I was just a fan call away. And that I would be there for him no matter what. Because that is family. And through those times, I turned to God who helped me be able to tell him how to get through this, like you're going to get through it. And Trey knows that I'm always just a phone call away. And he was there for me whenever I lost my grandparents in August, my junior and senior year in high school. And I just, if you turn to God and whenever you have adversity, it's always going to, he's always going to be there for you. He's going to send you a message about what you need to do and show you a way. He is the answer. And if you stay strong in your faith, we'll always be there. Um, <clears throat> everybody goes through adversity no matter what. And I feel like if you sit there and you pray long enough for it, it he's going to answer you and he's going to show you what you need to do. Thank you. Thank you. 